Hi Beavers, Badger here. How are we all enjoying our camp? I hope you're loving all the activities. Are we ready for the next craft activity? This one we can either do indoors or outdoors. We're going to make our toilet roll binoculars ready for the campfire tonight. Come on, let's have a go. Tonight. For this you'll need two toilet roll inserts, an A4 piece of paper or card, some string, pair of scissors, some felt tips, paint and sellotape. Right, if we put the toilet rolls and everything else to one side for a moment, we just need the A4 sheet of paper. Now if we fold it lengthways in half, we'll need to get an adult to help us as we need to cut it into two halves. Once we've got our two halves, we take the one part and we need again to fold that in half. Again, we're going to need an adult to help us cut this. And we should be left with this. Now, first of all, we're going to concentrate on this part and we need to make it into a little bit of a triangle. So, if we fold it, I'd say about a quarter in. And then just keep folding it, we should be able to make a triangle out of it. So we get a triangle just like that. Now what we need to do is either use the glue or the sellotape what we've got and stick that little bit down. There we go. That's going to be our spacer between our seeing lenses. Now if we get our two toilet rolls that doesn't look very good does it but first of all we need to use some sellotape and stick it around it just to secure it to the triangle don't worry about how it looks at the minute once it's finished it'll look fabulous so I've used three strips of sellotape top middle and bottom to secure it I'm now going to take the other half of the card. I'm going to place that in the middle there. Now we need to use this as a wrap around of the toilet rolls. Once you've got that, you need to secure it with either glue or sellotape. I find sellotape to be a little bit better as it sticks more permanently. So as you can see, it's starting to take shape a little bit now. In the last we quarter, need we need to fold in half, getting ready to cut again. This is going to fill the space between the two viewing lenses. And now we fold it in half and get the adult to help us cut again and then fold that piece in half and we'll be left with two strips. So we've got our two strips. If we get our binoculars and place the one strip over the middle Bend over and we secure it with sellotape or glue. Again, preferably sellotape. Now, to mark the holes ready for the lanyard. If we mark about there on both sides. Now remember, we don't want to go too close to the top because the cardboard will rip. So, I've now got both of the holes marked out either side. It doesn't matter if they're quite level, but I'd say about an inch to an inch and a half from the top. This part, you really will need adult help. You'll need a little bit of blue tack, plasticine or Play-Doh. And a sharp pair of scissors. Okay? Now the trick is, on the inside, we stick the blue tack. Okay? We then use the scissors with the one blade to poke through. Again, like I said, adult help for this one, please. We've got the holes and now we just need to thread the string. So, so we've got one. our piece of string. I've got it so that I've got it round my neck and hanging either side. We need to cut it so that it's about that length. Leave a little bit longer so we can feed it through the holes on the toilet rolls. So we've got it threaded through and it's about the right length now we just need to tie it off. You need to take the two pieces 
and just tie as if you're tying your shoelaces but without the bow and double tie it. And there we have our bear hunt binoculars but they're not quite finished. It's now over to you guys to paint them, colour them, draw on them, make them as bright as possible and post pictures to our Facebook page. Use the hashtag scouts hate